Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red, Rare Candy. Now you may be asking yourself if you watched the last part. Which is, by the way, we finally finished going through Victory Road. Question is, why the hell am I back inside? Two things. One, I need a Rare Candy to level up Needle King. Pokemon! Dig and start over. The second reason is, you see that Pokeball over there? It was forced to be blocked because I need that rare candy. And I'll show you where all that is. That is Dragon Claw, and I'm going to replace it with Sunny Day since my Solar Beam strategy got thrown out the window. Because this is first generation, I forgot. They're a bit more tedious. No, let's not make a mistake. They're a little more tedious with the solar beam strategy. Houndoom can do it. A Rapidash can do it. I don't know who else could. Ninetales. So basically the only fire Pokemon that's actually worthy of having the solar beam strategy is Houndoom, for God's sakes. Through the second, for the first and second and even third generation. The fourth generation they decided to go crazy. So yeah, this look familiar? That's where the rare candy was. This is Dragon Claw, like I said. And now TM Dragon Claw. The only one that can learn it. This is so I could get the edge on the Dragon Trainer. And I don't even use Sunny Day. It's not like anyone knows Water Gun. And Dragon Claw. Frickin' Solarine. Oh, I've got Overheat. Too bad I'm not going to use it. And that's that for this cave. Now I'm done Victory Road. Needle King dig. Notice that Needle King's the weakest member in the team. That's because he keeps dying, 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 dying. Though so he's still going to be hopefully used. So, this part. Taking me two minutes to explain that. We'll be taking on four trainers in the Elite Four all in one video. Or at least I believe so. I've got healing items, I've got revives, just in case. But I don't think I'll need them. Let me check my Pokemon team, see if I want them in that direction. I believe I do. And also notice how Jolteon's the highest level. That's because I fought her. She is a water and ice type trainer. So, yeah, let's go ahead and do this. Welcome to the Pokemon League. I am Lorla, or whatever it's named, of the Elite Four. No one can best me when it comes to icy Pokemon. Freezing moves are powerful against Dragon Pokemon. Your Pokemon will be, be at my mercy when they are frozen solid, which is rare. Haha, <laughs> are you ready? Yes I am, I am like, beyond ready. Watch yourself. Watch, I'm just gonna completely annihilate her whole team with one Pokemon. That one Pokemon being Jolteon. Well, almost one Pokemon. There is one Pokemon that's not water type. Hail. No oh, whoop de do. <laughs> Shockwave! So 
So yeah, at first Elite Four is a bit challenging, that's why I'm in such a high level. Or at least level 50. But, yeah, I'm gonna switch. So, yeah, I'm definitely gonna switch. Reason being is I just wanna level up Halter. Or at least get him decently trained. Okay, uh, Cloyster. I'll need to explain. He has spectacular special defense. But he has uber physical defense. So that's why I have Haunter out. So yeah, Cloyster for her isn't really used that much. He's used a lot more along the lines of set up the whole battlefield. Which I kind of find strange. Oh yeah, and he also has protect which is annoying. She's most likely going to spam this twice. And yes, it's annoying. Or expect. Psychic. I knew you were going to use Protect. Oh, guess what? It stopped hailing. Hey, guess what? I'm going to eat your uh, health up. Give me back that health. And it's Cloyster down. Alright, slow bro. Definitely Jolteon. Slow bro. As I explained before, I think, he is defensive. Very defensive. So yeah, I'm gonna hopefully try to finish this fast. Because he has amnesia. Amnesia can sharply raise his Special defense. Alright, Lapras is her strongest Pokemon. I don't know why she's always sending out Lapras against my Jolteon. Just doesn't make sense to me. And every single strongest Pokemon in every single trainer has that the citrus berry. Thunder. So yeah, Lapras is also a defensive Pokemon. More along the lines on his HP. He has massive HP, but it kind of reminds me of Roarang. Roarang and Lapras are the same types and they have identical stats, pretty much. So yeah, Jinx, I'm switching to, oh my god, Charizard, what do you expect? It's an ice Pokemon. I prefer Jinx when she was black. Oh, come on. Don't waste my time. Don't waste everyone's time. Oh, come on. What do I want to do? Screw it, Jolteon. Oh, 
Oh wow, a healing item. That makes you a good trainer. I don't need an item. Thunder. Yeah, normally she uses lo uh, whatever kiss it is to make your Pokemon retarded. Ice Punch to do decent damage. A Trank just to be annoying. I think this is perfect to throw in Haunter. Alright, that's one down. Oh, on! That should have been a level up right there. You better than I thought. I uh, go on ahead. You only got a taste of the lead force power. If you struggled on her, then good luck on the rest. Pokemon. I'm gonna switch to Haunter. All right. I'm Bruno of the Elite Four. Through rugged training, uh, I don't even know what, whatever. People and Pokemon can become strong without limit. Except for level 100. I lived to, and trained with my fighting Pokemon. And that will never change. Dude, I will grind you down with our superior power. Ha ha! Bluno, a rock slash fighting type trainer. He's a pushover, if I say so myself. He only has one good Pokemon. So yeah. Give me that one up that I deserved that last fight. I earned it. Alright, next. Hitmonchan. Alright, who do I want for Hitmonchan? Screw it, I'm keeping Haunter out. Psychic. I don't think this will kill a Hitmonchan in one hit. What they do? Rock Tomb doesn't do enough damage. Onyx. I think I've got enough speed to outspeed Onyx still. Bring it! Ah, oh, crap! Okay, I did Wow, I didn't even expect Haunter to live. Give me that health back! Alright, that was a bit surprising. Yeah, normally ground slash rock type Pokemon are slow as hell. My champ, okay. I'm gonna switch to Kadabra. I want to kill this thing in one hit. My champ is his only good and strongest Pokemon. 
Machamp is a pretty good fighting Pokemon, and I actually like this Pokemon a lot. Only problem with me is, I can never use him pretty decently. Don't know why. It's probably just because he doesn't fit anywhere in my team. Bulk up. He's probably going to heal. Look at that health. How is it not going to tempt him to heal? I'm just going to use Calm Mind. You heal up while I'll boost up to make sure I kill you in one hit. Get out of here, you buff ass Machamp. So yeah, um, I decided to change my mind on having all four of these trainers in this one video. Uh, I'm gonna fit just Bruno and uh, Lorla or whatever her name is. So yeah, I didn't. It's probably Hitmon Lee. It's her own, his only Pokemon left. Haunter. A ghost Pokemon is a good choice for a uh, Hitmon Lee. He only has fighting and normal, I think, type moves. Maybe only fighting. And make sure your ghost Pokemon knows a psychic move, because he will get a chance to hit the ghost Pokemon for one turn. Not making sense? Well, now I just did. This has the ability to not make him miss when with a fighting type or normal type attack. And that's why I recommend a psychic move. Alright, Bruno down. Why? How can I lose? My job is done. Go face your next challenge. <laughs> well, <laughs> to you too. Until next time.